So yesterday we dug up these couple of stumps, including this big bruiser, which took us about an hour to dig up at the very end of the day yesterday. Um, so today we've got one more to go dig up and we've got the hole for this thing to fill in. Um, and then we're gonna come back here and uh, pressure wash these so we can kind of get some patterns on them, start cutting them apart. Um, I'm fighting a little bit of the rest of a cold, so we'll see if I can power through this and get this done today. <laughs> So this is the crater where that big oak stump came out of. <laughs> so we obviously can't leave it like this. Uh, so the first thing today is gonna be to put all this dirt back and more or less fill this in. There'll be a bit of a depression here, but it's not a big deal out in the woods. I will put that giant rock back in the hole first. And then once we get this cleaned up, uh, there's a little oak tree, well not little oak tree, there's another oak tree over there. And we're gonna pull out around the base of that and see if we can use the trunk as a big lever and kind of tip the whole thing over and uproot it that way. The other ones that we did, we weren't really able to get them into a position where we could really do that nicely. Um, so we cut them down first. And this one we had cut down last year, so it was what it is. But we get this one filled in and see if we can knock that one down and then we can go start cleaning and cutting out some knees. So next up is to harvest this oak and its knees down here. This looks like it might have some pretty good ones. So I'm going to put the backhoe where Alex and the camera and you all are right now and undercut on this side and dig out past these knees a little bit and get down underneath the root ball. And then I can move the backhoe to the uphill side, scrape those away a little bit, and then hopefully just use the tree as the lever and just push the whole root ball over down the road here. And then we can cut it up, clean it up fill in this hole and uh, get to cleaning up and cutting out these stumps. Well, Steve's on his way back to the house with that stump, and uh, we know this doesn't look great right now, but honestly, this stuff will just get reseeded so quickly by next year, you almost won't even notice that it's like this. Um, all of this will become all grassy, there'll be all these little saplings that are coming, 
And actually in this part of the forest right here, it's actually good that we take out the oaks. Um, we call this actually the pine knoll, and it really should get reseeded mostly with uh, pines as opposed to being choked out by the oaks. So, you know, we got a couple more in here, but we're gonna leave those standing because they look healthy. Um, but these that we were that were here, that big stump that was over there is going to help us quite a bit. And then uh, that's going to be a lot of nice open soil for uh, little seedlings to start growing in. So uh, let's go back to the house, see if we can uh, clean those stumps up and see what we can cut out of them. <laughs> you look great. <laughs> no, good. So I think if they're standing up like that, they might actually be the easiest to clean off. Oh, really? Because it's going to kind of all flow down and away from the roots better. Okay. So what I'm wondering is, I'll have you run the hoe, and I'll just stay gross. All right. My turn is back up. And I'm going to go grab the loppers. And I think if I just start lopping the small roots off so they're out of the way, yeah. I can probably do that one. We can pick it up and set it off to the side. And then maybe pick one of these up and set it down and I can work around it. Yeah. And then we can flip it over and I can work some more on it. Okay. I really wish we could take them and drop them off in the ocean or in a river for a couple days. Yeah, that would be amazing. That would be the ticket. Just <laughs> set them in the brook and just let it wash it away, but yeah. it's not really a good spot to do that. Now, I guess we could have just laid laminated knees or bronze knees, but what's the fun in that? That looks fantastic. So all of that is one big piece. We'll be able to get a pretty good knee out of that. Still working on the rest of it. There's a bunch over here. But this is a heck of a lot more work than we expected. <laughs> the issue is that we got some snow coming later. We we're hoping to get this done today, but it looks like we're gonna have to start picking up and uh, move these guys a little bit out of the way so that we can uh, start doing snow removal tomorrow. The snow overnight wasn't anything we had to worry about, although the sleet and freezing rain were coming down pretty hard. And Steve started working with the chainsaw to start getting some knees freed from the stumps. 
This meant rotating the stumps with the backhoe while he tried to find good angles to make the long, deep cuts needed to get the knee out. The hardest part being removing the remaining dirt and rocks which destroy the chains. Beautiful day today. <laughs> Snowing, sleeting, freezing rain here in New England. Um, but it doesn't matter much. We're still out here working on these stumps. So it's been a little more challenging than we thought getting them cleaned up. This is one that is getting close. Everything's all frozen now. And I've been working on this one today and uh, got it down to the point where we're about ready to hopefully free a couple knees out of it. Uh, unfortunately, Alex is still feeling under the weather. He's uh, he got some chest thing that's really been kicking his arse. So, to having him out in this, other than this short bit to film right now, was uh, not very wise because he needs to get better. So he's been inside doing emails and working on the next video and that kind of stuff. And I've been out here chiseling and chainsaw and grinding away. So what we're looking for is these big curves here where it goes from trunk to root and it basically makes a 90 degree bend. And that curved grain, that 90 degree grain, is exactly what you want for the grown knees that we're looking for. So when the tree grows, it sends out these buttresses that help stabilize it. And these buttresses are going to end up becoming the knees. So we've got one carved out here, and we've got another one here. There's a couple more on the other side, but this tree was a double leader, so it was two growing out of kind of the same stump. And one of them died years ago, so the other side of the stump's a bit rotten. I don't know if we're going to get anything out of that, but we should be able to get these two here. Go touch it up again. It doesn't last long. Can I get you to hook that if I boom it out? Yeah.
Bet you I'm out of gas. Yep. <laughs> Do you want to fire up the hoe and give it a morning to warm up? And then um, can we flip it and stand it directly upright? And then I think I can start sawing in from the top and follow it down towards the base. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think so. You just want me to pull it over, basically. Basically, just pull it over and stand it up. Yep. Yeah. Steve noticed that one of his bar nuts had rattled off at some point, and the chain was pretty much toast too. Once that got worked out, we managed to get the first two knees into the boathouse. The next day, the container arrived to take all the donations for sale cargo. Hopefully it'll make it down before we do, but regardless, it's a relief to have all those donations on their way and out of ours. Next week, now that we have the rough patterns for our knees, we'll start getting those shaped and we'll show you how they will fit into the boat and why they are so important. We'll also take a local trip to visit fellow boat builders Gannon and Benjamin during their open shop day.
Well, we got everything loaded. I think we got fairly lucky. That thing, that thing is pretty full. I haven't been able to make it to the spa lately, so I got a mud bath today done. It was kind of like pressure washed at me too, so they probably exfoliated pretty well. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get cleaned up. Yeah, go get cleaned up.